Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and today marks a, a radical change in the channel which I'll lead up to after a while after I've built suspense enough but uh, anyway I want to show you something and then I'll show you something. I guess in a lot of videos you've seen that uh, reloading table covered over with a bunch of clutter and probably never seen a video where it wasn't covered up other than maybe the one where I built the table and today we've got the, all that cleanliness and to the left there we've got a big box right there with Amazon Prime written on it and that's where the departure from the, my usual things comes about uh, it seems like in the past I haven't been overly impressed with 3D printers and I've been highly skeptical that they were of any value but after thinking on it quite a bit I thought well how can I say for sure if I don't experience it for myself so I reached deep down in my pocket and notified Mr. Amazon I wanted one gave him my hard earned cash and he sent me that box so inside it is a uh, 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3. And I hope it doesn't end me. We're going to open the box up and we're going to put her together. Now, don't, don't get me wrong about 3D printers. They're being used in the industry for all manner of really money-saving time, saving things you know they're uh, printing jet engine parts they're printing metal they're printing all, all manner of things in industrial machines and what I'm concerned with of course is the ones that uh, poor old rednecks like me can buy and I think it, right now they're probably at the same level that when we started getting computers you remember the dot matrix printer I think the most of them that us uh, homeowners have got are in the category of dot matrix printer. And in, in the future there will be good things to come. There will be a multicolored mixing of, uh, of the plastic probably make you know just as pretty of pictures out of plastic as you could with a dot wheel with a bubble jet printer. So don't get me wrong I'm not saying that uh, there's anything wrong with 3D printing it's you know it's a it's a great new technology it's just I'm questioning as to whether a regular guy like me can get it get much of anything of value out of a 3D printer other than just playing with it you know all right so let's move on from here okay so it looks like we have a box within a box now this box here is obviously Full of plastic for printing, filament as they say, and this box which has got to be the printer. And we'll take him out of that box and get this box out of the way. Not too many boxes around. And it says on that box, right over there, it says Ender 3. So, it's uh, from Shenzhen Creality 3D Technology Company. And we're going to open her up and see what's in it. Home. and here is something probably yeah I understand this is the entire construction or instruction manual consisting of a pamphlet and in here you've got printer parts so I know you guys are not looking right at it we back you up a little or right, well Anyway, you've seen what's in it, so I'm going to start setting the thing up, and then I'll wake you guys up. Just take a little nap. 
this much of the printer is already assembled. You got the the table, and I guess this looks like the print head. Yeah, it is. And the power supply underneath. This is right out of the box in the unit. We've got uh, aluminum extrusions here. Hoping that I keep them in front of the camera. Um, a lead screw. And this is what the lead screw is in. I don't know if it's going to be a part of the printer or not. And some more aluminum extrusion. And there's more stuff in the box. So, Okay, so we've got a bag here that I'm not sure what's in it. Open the bag and see it's a circuit board. Oh, this is the display for the uh, brains of the machine. Okay. This guy here is undoubtedly a, a stepper motor. I'm not sure what, which one he is or what he controls. Here's another stepper motor. So, and a piece. <laughs> I haven't read the uh, instruction pamphlet yet, so I'm not sure what to do. I'm still gathering stuff out of the box. Okay, so we've got a, a power card and a power supply. I don't know what this other thing was. Maybe it's the uh, little computer that runs it. I'm not sure. But anyway, this, there's a power supply. I'll sit him over there. Some uh, filament to start off with. And a putty knife. That may come in handy. Okay, so I'll start assembling and then I'll wake you guys up. Well, I quickly got tired of working with the camera watching, so I went ahead and I put it together. I've got it powered up there, and I've run through the control panel a little bit. And now I need to find some operating instructions somewhere. After all, I want to know exactly what they say to do to make sure everything is set right. Well, last night I figured out the location of the test file on the a uh, micro SD card and I loaded that up and tried to print the dog that's the test figure they've got for me and it didn't stick to the table so today I put a bunch of uh, that blue tape on the table and we'll see if that'll hold it all together and when it gets through warming up I'll start printing the, the dog all over again and in the meantime, we'll watch Keith Rucker. Well, after a couple of hours, I guess, we got this far again and snatched it loose from the bed. So, I'm ordering a glass uh, piece to go on the top of there. But in the meantime, I'm going to look around here and see if there's any glue sticks. I'll try that. Alright, out of desperation to see this thing work, I actually made three changes all at once. I looked around I found some handmade printer paper in the closet and it's got a nice rough surface in it. so I thought well if it's going to stick to anything it'll stick to that but uh, it didn't but I put the printer paper on there I glued the bed and put the paper on after I glued it not obviously a very good thing to do because got these ripples here I don't know if they're important, but anyway, the, the paper kind of puckered after things got started. I, I turned on the bed heater, used these little clips to hold the thing on, and used the, the hand. Oh, and I switched over to the, to the PLA that came with the printer. They had a, a small little roll and, and a spool of it in there, and I switched it over to that. So, if it had worked, I wouldn't have known which one of those things was the one that made it work. But it didn't, and I think that what it is is true, that there's a mistake in the file that makes it run down and drag on this, uh, on this thing. Yeah, i just turn it off. 
there. You see how it's the head was dragging this thing along. Okay, this is cry I think number four. This is makes about the third or fourth time I put tape on the bed. And it looks as though the bed maybe is a little higher in the center than it is on the edges. And I thought, well, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to get a dial indicator and run over it and see exactly what it looks like. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place, but I'm trying to follow their instructions to see how good the instructions are. They tell you to use a piece of printer paper to space the uh, print head away from the table. I think for a beginner like me, you need at least a business card. You need more distance because three times I, or four times I've put tape on the table and three times the print head went over and ripped it loose. So that's what makes me think it's not right in the middle because I'd, I'd get it out right on all the four corners and then it'd head for the middle and start ripping tape loose. Now, the very first time I tried printing was just on the, on the bed itself and no tape, no nothing and no, no heat turned on and when I did that, well, the, you know, the uh, plastic didn't stick, it wound up a little, you know, spaghetti bowl. So, I tried turning on the, uh, the bed heater for two or three of those times and when you do that, the tape lets go of the bed as soon as the bed gets hot and the edges curl up and then the print head grabs it and drags it all over the place. So this time the, the bed heater is not turned on, the print, print head is way up in the air by more than they say to put it, but this is the most successful I've gotten so far, and I, I would guess this may actually print the dog, we'll find out later. The part for the big mowers coming in today. Probably in another hour or two, three. And uh, I've got to run some errands. So I guess it's good that with this stage the thing can sit here and squirt hot plastic on that table while I'm gone. And while I work on the big mower and maybe cut the grass. I don't know how long it's supposed to take to print this. But nevertheless, this looks like we're headed for success. Although I know, don't count your chickens where the eggs are hatched. There's my problem. It lets loose of the bed. It's just wobbling around more and more and more. And then the next thing you know, it lets go and gets dragged around. And it's about this height every time. Alright, 14 minutes is where it usually starts to have problems. We're on uh, 15 minutes now. And what I did was I turned off the bed heater and just before I told it to print from the SD card I took a uh, glue stick and I smeared really good right there where I knew it was going to print. Which is another thing I've got to learn how to make a print over in the middle of the table instead of right here on the corner. Got a lot of learning to do but it looks like we've hit about 16 minutes and it hasn't come loose yet. And it's taller than it's ever been. So let's see if we make it all the way to 20 millimeters tall. Alright, so the, the longer it printed, the more the paper started to wobble around and lift up. So the paper's not, not the answer. The glue sure helps, but the glue needs to be on a surface that's not going to move. So. I may not get anything to work until the glass that I've ordered arrives, but I'm going to take this paper off and I'm going to put some tape just across this spot and then we'll glue it like crazy and see what happens. I said it could print a support around the square and then once it got started printing I moved this clip right over here on the side. Now when it gets through it undoubtedly knock that clip loose and will fall down from there because it'll probably going to go back to the home position. But nevertheless, right now, it's keeping the paper from flopping up and down. 
Uh, I didn't glue this paper to the, to the bed like I did the others. And we've, uh, we've reached 23 minutes and it's grown quite a bit larger than anything else has up to now. It's going to go to 20 centimeters. So we'll see if this becomes the first success. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.